Today we're going to make a stuffed crust pizza with garlic butter on the crust. Why do you look so sad? It's the face of someone resigned that they're going to make a stuffed crust pizza and eat it all. <laughs> oh no. Oh. But that's okay because we're also making a Cuba Libra. Is that the wrestler guy? Like the Jack Black? What's Nacho that? Libra? Oh yeah, Nacho Libra. No, this is, a, this is just rum and coke with, you know... A lime-ish in it. We're gonna put a lime in there. Oh. Gonna put in some ice. And then we squeeze a wedge of lime into it. We're making two drinks. And we're gonna try two different kinds of rum. I got this and then our old favorite Appleton. Okay, two ounces of Appleton Estate rum and two ounces of Mount Gay Eclipse Heritage Blend. So we got the, the Mexican Coke. Gently stir. And the black one is the Appleton. Go ahead and compare the two. See which one you think is better. Okay, which one was that? The Appleton? The black one is the Appleton. I think this one, but they're very similar. Really? You like that one better? Yeah, try it. See what you think. I like this one better. Oh, really? So I will go with the Appleton. You can have the Mount Gay. Okay. And then we are going to make, what are we going to, did we, oh, we're going to make stuffed crust pizza. Yeah. I mean, oh, we're going to make stuffed crust pizza. Oh. So we got to wait for that to get to 86 degrees. So we'll do the other stuff first. Oh, it's 109. Oh my. So we're going to need to make some yeast. We're going to work with yeast, but so we're doing Brian Langerstrom's recipe here for stuffed crust pizza and he just puts the yeast right in the bowl so we're gone that was supposed to be a third of the teaspoon okay so i think i'm gonna take a little out we need two and three fourths of a tablespoon of sugar we need a third of a cup of olive oil then we need three and an eighth of a cup of flour so there's one there's two I'll never understand you. Can you open the garbage? Oh. <laughs> Two teaspoons of salt. Let's just do this. I'm very inaccurate, but that's okay. If you want accuracy, go watch Brian. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. <laughs> we could dance around the room to this. <laughs> <laughs> Get it all in the middle. Oops. I think we're well on our way to a successful pizza. <laughs> Is that right? Uh oh. Stand back. It's gonna blow! Now, here's something I thought of. You can, you can scoop in there instead of. <laughs> instead of pouring it. <laughs> Now you're supposed to make it into a ball. This is ball-like. He said you have to use a pizza tray. Oh. 30 minutes. That's it? Ready? Ready? The dough did not grow very much. And now we're going to let that sit for another 30 minutes. Oh we're supposed to cut it in half. I'm going to cut it in a little more than half. And we're going to use the big one for our... For today and then we're supposed to punch it oh, I... to get all the gases out and now we're gonna cover this and put it in the fridge for 24 hours 24 hours 24 hours so maybe i'll just not eat anything for 24 hours so that no. i'll, I'll save up my calories i don't believe you okay come back tomorrow and we'll find out what we do We're in the next day. <laughs> we time traveled. Here's our dough. We got a, a steel. He said to put the oven at maximum strength, 550. And so now we got to make the sauce and the cheese. The cheese! It's time for a cheese inventory. I think I got what we needed. I'm pretty sure you did. What do we have for cheese? Mm. 
We have provolone and moderate. You know, I could just stop filming right now. And mozzarella. <laughs> and we got some, some fancy cheese. That's for grilled cheese. So I don't know that we have enough cheese. I might need to go to the store. <laughs> what can I say? I like cheese. So good news is, I think we're going to use both of these. The provolone and the provolone. We're going to shred one and we're going to block the other one. So this is going to go all the way around the pizza. What are you looking for? I'm looking for just the right size. Like the Bowl. three bears? Yeah. Just right. It was too big, it was too small, now it's just right. I like Goldilocks. Look at me. Goldilocks. I see that. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Measured it carefully. I need a half a teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon and a half of basil and oregano, and then a half a teaspoon of the onion powder and the garlic powder. You need three fourths of a cup of water. Now this is, why is this silver? Um, you're gonna make me admit this? Why? That I thought this was brand new. It is. I was making some soup. And yeah. And I was heating potatoes on the other burner. Yeah. And I got the cord too close to the fire. <gasps> um, and that's how you make the, the sauce. Roller thing. Do we even have a roller thing? I think so. Um, okay, now we're gonna do a dough. We might just want to order pizza next time. Yeah, that, that might be a good plan. Let's call that round. Okay. So basically, we're gonna go around. And we're gonna these all the way around the pizza. I'm a professional. <laughs> you know, I figured these people who work at minimum wage jobs make this all the time. So I should be able to make it, right? No, I think they should be paid better is the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that would be the case. Yes. I have bad feelings about this, but we're just going to do it. Okay, so we got the, this is the provolone and mozzarella mix. This is not going to work. This is going to work. Have faith. Stand by your man. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Emergency flour. You know, I don't feel too bad. Pitmaster Jay had a problem with his pizza. He did. Wasn't quite this bad, but. Right about here is where I knew something was definitely going to come off the rails. This is not working. I have my burger thing. Let's do this instead. This is perfect. <laughs> this can be the wonkiest pizza ever. Perfect. I wonder why you're tired. You're gonna run around the chicken. <laughs> Running around the chicken with your head cut off. <laughs> That's an awfully hot oven. Uh oh. Um. I don't think you can use both. One or the other. So this is a perfect stuffed crust pizza. As you can see, on this side, we have a little... Extra cheese. It's called a dam. Oh, okay. The official name for this is, it's a dam. Okay. I built a dam over here. It's a, it's a, it's a political statement. I am a woman, hear me roll. About dams. Oh. Not about women, about dams. <laughs> this did not turn out like I imagined. But I bet it still tastes like pizza. I bet it does. Maybe you discovered the wonkiest pizza we should just call this the wonkiest, wonkiest pizza. pizza ever follow us and you too could make the world's wonkiest pizza <laughs> this is how this is a beautiful pizza get a good shot of it for the thumbnail and we'll put some some basil on it let's eat well it's a little doughy how did this go so bad what are you doing i'm i'm cooking the other dough i thought we were gonna save that i'm i need to be need to do it good <laughs> Oh, much nicer. Much gooder. Okay, I'm gonna butter this and we're gonna leave this sit for three minutes and then I'm gonna eat this one instead.